If you love scary spaces, troll hunts, extreme organizing, and creepy crawlers, then this is the video for you. I don't even know if I, we should say like there's an exciting video upon us here. <laughs> And this is when everyone clicks away. No, no, no. Stay with me for a second though. I can't say that I'm excited for this video mostly because spending time in my basement is not fun for me. Misery loves company. So I figured if I'm going to be going down there and organizing a bunch of stuff, why not bring you along? I don't know if this is going to be fun. I don't know what's going to happen, but I figured you might as well come along for the ride because, uh, you know, who knows? I might get eaten by a troll and we want to put it on camera. We need the video evidence of what happened to Danny expose. <laughs> but as you guys know, if you are familiar with my content, I am currently in the process of building a very large garage outside of my house. This is going to be a, it is a big project it has already started and the entire exterior of my home has just been mud machines, wood, insulation, concrete, stone, um, and it's just been very challenging to film around that and it's been raining literally every day. So everything's just been very challenging and you know, in the next coming months, we're gonna be needing to get into our basement so that we can do our electrical for this garage and I basement basically looks like a hoarder lives down there. I mean, it is your typical uh, gross basement. It's not finished. Uh, it's more like a cellar, a troll dungeon, a spider a haven, and it's damp and dank and it's not nice. I do not enjoy spending time down there, but it also is great storage. We keep decor, home stuff, seasonal stuff. I keep my DIY stuff down there and it's gotten out of control and we need to do something about it. And Jeffrey's like, this is your stuff. You got to do something about it. And I'm like, cool. Guess we're going down and I'm bringing y'all with me. So if you're new here and this intro hasn't deterred you, then welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. We do all things home and DIY here. And sometimes we get real by sharing our hoarding problems. I don't know what to expect, but it's gonna be an adventure. So editor, roll the tape. Boop. Go get the monsters. All right, friends, we are about to go venture into the basement. I'm afraid because trolls live down there, but I should also preface that this house is very old. This basement is original to its 175 plus year old house, which means that uh, it's basically not a basement. It's like a, a cellar for spiders and trolls live down there, as I've mentioned. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're just gonna make sure they know we're coming. Hello? Don't eat me. Okay, let's go. Also, we're gonna have to get lighting down there because it is really dark. <laughs> oh, and I also, did I mention that the headspace is pretty much non-existent? <laughs> well, welcome to my basement. Let's go on a tour. Come on over here. I'm just gonna bang it. So in this corner, uh, we have all things DIY, paint materials, house materials, um, and it's, this is a hot mess. Oh, we have some home decor down here. We have a bunch of insulation, old flooring and paint over here, old doors. Oh, we have flooring down here. We have our entire wedding existence over here. Yep. Oh, costumes. What did we need this for? And over here, cushions that need to go outside, DIY stuff, DIY lighting. Um, apparently I have bamboo sticks, old decor, old electronics, Star Trek puzzle, P90X, <laughs> DVDs, and a lot of decor. So yeah, this is just all chaos and this gives me uh, a lot of anxiety. <laughs> I feel like a hoarder and we need to get through all of this stuff and essentially I need to be doing three things. Uh, we need to figure out what's gonna be donated, what's going to the dump, and what does Danny keep? So we need to practice the three Ds today and hopefully we can get through at least a portion of this in the coming days. I'm so stressed. Are you stressed? I'm stressed. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay and I have Holly here to help me today. She's behind the camera. Um, so you might see Holly because I didn't want to do this alone. Plus I needed somebody here if I was eaten by a troll to save my life. Okay, so let's get these upstairs and then uh, we can start organizing all this stuff. Okay, so if I pass this to you, will you catch it? 
No, don't add things. Can you take this, please? <laughs> so unhelpful. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> You're no help. You're no help. So, seasonal stuff is clearly here. This is all the Christmas stuff. So I think if we use these, ah, spiders. <laughs> okay, so if we build this, everything is so challenging. I mean, it could be worse. We do need to be careful of this pipe that seems to be protruding rust. If you don't like small spaces, this video is not for you. <laughs> It's like a puzzle. <laughs> I've learned I'm not very good at, uh, at putting things together. Isn't that literally your job? Why aren't you fitting in? Is this a representation of my life? Wait, these are different than those. Ah. Uh, Wait. Done it again, Watson. My dear Watson, we've found it. We need to count how many lamps are down here currently because it's a problem. We will do that later. <laughs> Start my own light museum. I had good intentions buying these bamboo. Let me just be clear. I bought this for a DIY, didn't end up using it, but then I was like, well, I don't want to get rid of it. This is some good bamboo. Maybe in the garden. Yes. How do they not make all of these things universal? Like, why are they all different? What's even worse is the fact that I've had this all this time and we've never used <laughs> Okay, so if we put this here, lovely. There's a lot of DIY stuff here that I think can stay. Um, oh, this is all the yarn that I have because I do so much knitting and crocheting and all that. So maybe we put that here for now. Okay. Actually, this is an old film can. Hollywood Film Co. This is why I'm a hoarder. You know that, right? It's because I keep if going. It's a collection. <laughs> I should not have called you to help me. No. You were not helpful in this I'm situation. I'm an enabler. <laughs> yeah, you're a, you're a warning enabler. Okay, so we have ooh, spiders. My Sex in the City DVD collection. Oh my god! Look at this is angsty Danny in high school, where I had little red tipped hair and also put red, but it was like kind of rusty. I thought I was so cool. Oh oh, check this out. This is when I met the Ninja Turtle, the real Donatello Ninja Turtle. Look at that, Stephen Ho, and he signed it for me. Thank you, Stephen Ho. Report cards. Oh God. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Oh, look at this. My old YouTube box. That's nice. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. Oh, thank you. Uh, found another light. <laughs> oh, look. Another light. Oh. oh, that's a light. Um, puzzle. Oh, I always wanted to go boldly go where no one's gone before. It can boldly go where no one's gone before. <laughs> electricity. Do you feel it? Do you feel the electricity? Oh, what do we got in here? Pink Floyd. <laughs> Pink Floyd. <laughs> no judgment here. <laughs> I've never been the people's choice. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should get the DIY stuff here. Because that's going to come out soon. And then Christmas stuff can stay on here. Okay, I think we've done a really great job getting this back corner organized. Let's move on. Okay. Okay, sorry. It's really loud down here because the sump pump turned on. But we just heard chirping. And so now I'm terrified that there's actually like a bird's nest down here. Or it's a bat. It's a bird or a bat. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and see if we can find anything. <laughs> Look at this light that's just like flickering on and off. Is that not the creepiest thing you've ever seen? Okay, I don't hear it anymore. So the sump pump finally turned off and we can actually hear ourselves down here. 
Um, this back corner is looking much better. We have some organization, but we're moving into this back section now. Okay, so I have an entire wall of paint right now, and I actually think that most of this stuff can probably be taken to the dump. Paint here, we have paint here, 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 because oh, we have all the paint down here, and then we have a whole paint wall up here. I don't even know. Okay, this looks like a little, this literally looks like a horror movie right now. Ah! What's in the dark corners of the world? You shall not pass. This is the old bathroom color. This is still good. Oh yeah, copper patina. Terrarium green. Oh, this was my green phase. Mm. Flower pot. This is still good. Oh, there's my bathroom. Or oh, sorry, my kitchen. This is still good. Almond wisp. Uh, shiny kettle's good. Simply, oh, simply shades. That's my kitchen. Other kitchen. Come on down. Let's go down to the really eerie. It is a miracle I get anything done on a daily basis. <laughs> Ooh, I think I had good intentions to keep this. It smells like primer. I mean, I think it's okay. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is bad. I know that this went bad. This went bad. That's bad. That's gone bad. This are like all three years old and they like didn't keep Still feels good. Ew, there's spiders! What is this? Magic white latex ceiling paint. Oh, there's a spider rolling across this. Excuse me, spiders. I don't, I don't want you on me. Ah, no. <laughs> I think I need to put gloves on. <laughs> Okay, so what's in this box? Uh, this is why we do plastic bins in the basement. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> um, an auto safety kit. God, what's in here? Oh, a blanket, we got a poncho. Good thing it's in the car. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. My snowboard. Okay, so it actually had this like nice little waterfall scene in here, but all of this down here is sparkly. So in the sun when I was like when I was snowboarding down, like all of this would sparkle so nicely. It really shredded the hills on this, you know? We have this back corner cleared. This corner, empty bins. All of this is looking good. Um, I'm moving into this stuff here. This used to be in my very first garage space. Okay, what do we have? We have the amazing Spider-Man, Captain America, Dark Knight Batman, another Batman. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this one and I think I might donate the rest. I love this, I would love this for the studio space, but these can probably be donated. Look at this. This was an Ikea special not too long ago. I loved it, but it's all scratched up now. But I think we donate this. Someone might love this and want to like, you know, spray paint it and make it new. But look how cute this little man is. Oh my God, there's actually space up here. This is amazing. I don't think I've actually ever opened this. Like even when we moved in, I don't think this has ever been used. I have no idea what's in here. Like animals could live in here. Ready? One, two. Oh, 
thank God. So nothing. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Look at that storage. This is all of my wedding stuff that I actually plan to either donate or sell or find somebody who is having a wedding who wants all this. Like, it's kind of one of those things that it's going to take some time to get rid of, but I did buy some extra shelves that I'm going to set up here and then put all the decor onto the shelves. That way they won't get icky. Um, this is like the perfect place to hold everything, but I just don't want it to get gross from all this water. So this is kind of fun to go through all of this because there's a lot of fun stuff. I actually got this from Sam. I took this all the way back from New York because <laughs> she used it for her wedding. And then I was like, oh, I need that. And she's like, then take them. So then now I have them and I feel like I need to pass it on. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, we got costumes because we had a murder. We ended up having a murder mystery dinner party. La da da, la da da, la da da. Oh, we had a sign for Vince. We have all these candles. We had this like octagonal arch with all these flowers on it. Um, we had a sign that held up the welcome sign. I have, I think, 52 Ikea cups with candles in it right now. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is uh, get out of troll mode set up the shelves and then we'll put all the decor on the shelves because my back is starting to hurt. Oh God. Honestly, I could not be happier with the way today went. It, it just like, I didn't even know that it could look this way down here. And I know that this still looks dark and dank and creepy, but this is so much better. You have no idea. So tomorrow we are going to donate. Tomorrow we are going to do a dump run. So tomorrow is a new day. I'll see you then. Good morning, friends. I'm just sitting here drinking a cup of coffee. Just kind of reflecting on yesterday. I'm so happy I got that basement done. I feel like that basement was a metaphor for my current like state of being. <laughs> I feel like everything right now around me is just chaotic. Like with everything with this garage build just feels chaotic. The season feels chaotic. The mud in my house because of the season feels chaotic. I'm actually just watching all of the construction happen right now and it's just, it's so intense. These guys, they're amazing. They start at like seven o'clock in the morning and they're working till six o'clock at night. It's intense. And so that like energy is outside of your house constantly just going and going. But we really only have about two more weeks of this. So by the time that this video goes up, I actually think I might even have a frame um, the guys are going to be starting to build the frame this week, which is really exciting. And I'm going to be sharing all of this. I am filming in between all of this, uh, so it will be shared. I'm not actually stepping into doing anything within the garage until the framing is done. Like Jeffrey and I are going to be doing all the electrical. We're going to be doing all the insulation, putting up the main walls like everything other than the framing. We're even gonna be doing the roof. We're gonna be doing the siding on the exterior. Like it's crazy. 
So I'm excited for that. So that's when the real filming is going to start. But I have been filming the entire process because I really do want to share what did it take to get this garage built? Like what, what happens? How does the process of design even work? So I really wanted to share that with you all. So that entire process is coming up very soon. So make sure you are subscribed if you are not already. But it's a lot. It's really cool, but it's a lot. Today, uh, Josh is gonna be showing up here. We're gonna go restore to donate. We're gonna go to the Goodwill to donate. And then we're gonna go to the dump. So we got a full day ahead of us. Riveting content. We're going to the dump, friends. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love the dump. <laughs> to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. Honestly, I, I love going to the dump because it just feels so good to get rid of stuff sometimes, you know? But it's good because I have all that paint that we need to throw out. And it's great because, so on certain days, like if you go check out your local dump, um, they do a hazardous waste uh, where, you know, you can get rid of like hazardous materials in your house, like chemical waste. But because we have full gallons of paint that have gone bad, I can't just throw that out in the garbage. It has to be properly wasted. If it's an empty paint can, I've been told that you can let it dry out and you can just throw that right into the garbage. But that might be different depending on where you are. So make sure you check uh, and do some reading. But yes, uh, we can dispose of everything properly and I feel good about that. What's in all these bags? Just like... Stuff. Literally just stuff. Stuff that has been moved over and over for like 10 years of moving stuff is what is in this car. And trash, it's gotta go. <laughs> What's the bag labeled Danny's hopes and dreams though? Is that... <laughs> is that... Yeah, that's going to the trash too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's the second biggest tire pile I've ever seen. We are at the dump. We are at the dump. There's this horrible, weird smell, and I can't tell if it's coming from all the moldy stuff I just threw out or this dump. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably the dump. I feel relieved. <laughs> I feel like a weight has been lifted from my truck and my life. Let's go donate. Let's go to the restore! Woohoo! <gasps> what did we find? Well, I just realized that my truck has a CD player that I've never used once, and now I found all my CDs, so I'm excited. What should we listen to? Leonard Cohen? Should we go Barbara? Backstreet Boys? Factory boys. Yeah. Oh, it works. Well, we're back down in the basement again. <laughs> My favorite place. I just figured a great way to end this journey is to kind of put a light at the end of the tunnel, you know? <laughs> but like literally put a light at the end of the tunnel and maybe this area will look less creepy. Like look how creepy it looks back here right now. Like how creepy? For sure I'm going to die from a troll. What did that? What just moved? Okay, let's get the lights installed so we can get out of the basement. <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, what I got were these two fluorescent light bulbs. So we're gonna actually put them in here um, and finally do the thing I've been waiting to do for three years <laughs> and been putting off. But I also bought this as seen on TV. Hopefully this actually works. I mean, I've heard great things. I've seen these in garages before and they're super bright. So I figured, well, 
what better place to put it than in the darkest place I know. <laughs> no, not my soul. <laughs> okay, here we go. So that goes there. I'm not gonna turn the light on yet. Let's get the other light in and then we'll turn the lights on to see what happens. I really hope this works. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, I can't want you. Maybe you're better at the, you did sound effect. We're going in. All right. I'm gonna go flip the switch. Going in. Ready? Did it work? <gasps> Whoa. I can't tell if it's creepier now or if it was creepier before. Cause now I can see everything. No more creepy corners where trolls can hide. Damn, I'm so illuminated now. I mean, usually at this point, this is where I'm rolling the beauties to show you my beautiful after from a terrible before. So instead of saying roll the beauties, let's say roll the uglies. <laughs> Oh my God, I can find everything. What a difference this has made. And I know that this doesn't have really like a sexy end to it or a sexy like reveal because it's really just a dingy dark basement, but I can tell you it feels sexy on the inside. You know? I feel organized. We got everything off the ground so nothing can get water damaged anymore. No more moldy boxes. <laughs> I know. But if you guys are still watching, then thank you for joining me on this like crazy, dingy, dark basement troll hunting journey. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. I hope that this encouraged all of you to take on one of those projects that you've been putting off for such a long time because I can tell you it feels so good to get it done. Just do it. Just do it. And I told you to do it and you're going to feel good. And by the end of this weekend, you're going to be like, Danny told me to do it and now I feel better. And like me right now. But you know what? If you need that extra push and you want a community of people behind you, guys, go check out my Patreon. Sending so much love to all of you. This Patreon is a community of people who will root you on through your projects, give you advice. Maybe you need some color advice. They're here to help you. I'm here to help you. So go check it out. It is in my description box. And of course, if you love organization videos, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Stay positive, stay creative, stay illuminated, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Demon!